stakeout area yesterday outside the White House. You said the Washington Post story, which came out late yesterday, was false. You stick by that assertion. You think that every element of that story is false. Do you have anything to correct in terms of what you said at the podium yesterday afternoon? No, I, I stand by my statement that I made yesterday. And what I'm saying is really the premise of that article is false, that in any way the president had a conversation that was inappropriate or that resulted in any kind of lapse in national security. And so I think the real issue, and, and I think what I'd like to see really debated more, is that our national security has been put at risk by those violating confidentiality and those releasing information uh, to the press that could be used uh, connected with other information available uh, to, to make American citizens and others more vulnerable. There you have it. McMaster once again reiterates that Trump didn't do anything appropriate. The media thought he was going to come out and resign, didn't they? Well, some did. I mean, I was reading all kinds of things last night and today, and there were a number of them saying, he can't go on. Trump has just cut him off the knees with Trump's tweet today. This guy's been humiliated. Trump is impossible to work for. McMaster is the only thing that gives this administration any integrity. McMaster is the only guy that gives this administration any respect. And if he's smart, he won't hang around and be polluted and poisoned by me. He thought he was going to come out and express anger and walk out of there to thunderous applause from the media. Which, by the way, is what happened when Obama went to the Washington Post. Washington Post newsroom was in ecstasy and gave the president a standing ovation when he came over just to check the propaganda operation. Okay, now head to the phones. This is Tony in uh, Lauria, Michigan. Am I pronouncing that right? And uh, that, that's pretty much it. We, you know, um, we do a lot of recreational boating sa safety boardings and, and regular law enforcement stuff to help out the locals, or they help out, us out. And then we do SAR cases. Anytime somebody needs help, just call us. Right. And of course, it's one of the Coast Guard stations that is on the, uh, I might say, the top ten list of desired places to get stationed, isn't it? It is. It is a very desirable place to be. There's a few others that top it, but this is a, this is a high end one. It sure is. And that today if they come out here they can get up here and see the boat and get to find out what it's all about yeah we invite anybody to come out and join us we'll take you out on take you up here on the boat and let you click the siren on and see the engines and all that okay. and if somebody wants to talk about a career in the coast guard can they talk to you or some of the other folks absolutely. here absolutely i i have talked to many people that want to join so if they want to join they have questions i can help them out and if i don't know the answer i'll find it out so basic requirements age and education wise what do you need uh, you got to be 18 years old um that's really it. I mean, you, you got you to take an ASVAB test, which you have to take that for any branch of the military. You take that, and depending on what scores they want at the time, that's what you got to get. And you find out what kind of uh, job you get to do, or, or of course, maybe your career may change jobs, too. Absolutely. It does It does depend, too, on what job you're going to do. Well, great. Well, we appreciate your being here, and folks, if you're listening to us on the radio today, come on up here to the Old Spanish Trail Park. Don't forget, at noontime, or during the noon hour, there's a free lunch going on, hot dog bar barbecue, bratwurst, hamburgers, all that good stuff, and all of the entertainment, the uh, North Okaloosa Community Band performing, and there are other, other entertainment going on throughout the day. So bring the family, bring the kids, bring the neighbor's kids or the neighbors as well, and come on over here to the Old Spanish Trail Park.